Welcome back to the Coach Kent Murphy Podcast. I got uh, Cleveland Indians pitcher Mike Clevenger here with us today, uh, which is a good thing because I needed somebody to hit some dingers off of, so I figured why not bring Mike in and uh, let him throw some some of his slow pitches to me, and uh, here we go. So how you doing today, Mike? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, pretty good. Watching you try to fit this microphone in your mouth earlier was weird, but well, good other well, than that. You know, I, I do all things great, so... <laughs> You know, That's what he said. Yeah, That's what leave, he said. Can't leave anything out. Uh, yeah, so you're down here, and uh, you're from Jacksonville, Florida originally, yeah? Duval County. Yeah, so you're like the living embodiment of Florida, man. You just... Jacksonville kind of is. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty a good... Do you, miss it? Do you miss it down there? Is that when you like used to be good when you lived down there? <sighs> yeah, I was a little bit... I got a hit back then, so... Uh, Did you ever, yeah. crack, you ever crush dingers back then? I mean, I wish I could sit here and... Uh, you never hit one? No, I hit a bunch of dingers. I just I was more of like the gritty steel bags, drag bunt, six, you know, six four. It was, it was weird. I know, yeah, I know. It's not your style. The bunting is not. I mean, you know, I can. I'll slide and cleats up though. Okay, that's fine. All right. Yeah, there. I mean, now we got something. Yelling umpires. Did you you know mm-hmm. take out your competition? Yeah, I like that's that's my plan in baseball. Really, is to dominate everybody and take out anybody that gets in my way, with a good you know Ty Cobb feet up slide into second stuff like that. Now you were drafted by the Angels. And uh, you found your way to Cleveland, so you know you had to go from Los Angeles to Cleveland. And uh, how many how many times did you have to shower to get that get that feeling right for you? Well, not Los Angeles. I was in the minor leagues with the Angels, so you're talking San Bernardino. You know, I was going to the field, you know, with my watching my six and making sure I just couldn't yeah. not give up eight home runs a game. Trying to give up five or less yeah. was like the goal in the Cal League back then. You got to watch your six a lot on the mound too. When you're, you know, throwing. If you're around, oh yeah. Well, yeah, you you know, put some on, put one on somebody. You got to you got to get out there and uh, get into it. Mm. And I was thinking, you know how guys do like a home run dance. You know, they'll pimp it out. You ever thought about doing that with strikeouts? Like every time me you strike I, somebody. I'm not out? just saying this like to benefit your shit. Me and Zach Plesac talked about it before the season started that we wanted to bring NBA celebrations because the three. I think you have to. Oh well, we're going straight. Yeah, everything. Dragging the water. Yeah, you got to throw the out. glove up. Yeah, yeah. Do all it all. It. Like every strike, because they do it every time they it hit a yeah, dinger. You got to do it every time. And you everyone's strike telling out. us like you can't get mad about it, which I agree with. I mean, if you get me, that's one. All right, first off, you're allowed to get some red ass if you're flipping your bat and that shit's before the warning track and caught my left fielder's glove. I'm allowed to say something to you then. Okay. You, you get me and goes yeah. over the wall. Throw your shit to the stands. Anytime it's directed straight at me, though, we're gonna have some issues. I think that should be that line. Have you ever thought Hell about? Yeah. Have you ever thought about charging the batter? They always charge you. You ever thought about just just bringing one inside and just take just starting it up? Anyway? Like without even throwing a pitch, yeah, just man. dropping the glove, yeah. and just going straight to the like, on deck you know circle. What? Never mind, I'm Not even you. the guy at the plate, the guy on deck. Yeah, I'm Maybe. in. I'm, I'm in. in. Yeah, I think we should break, we should make it like hockey, where like until someone hits the ground, collar sh- sh- grab the collar. Once it hits I'm, the ground, break it up. I'm way into that. As and a matter of fact, both, we both get to stay in the game. You put in some calls, just get me on the team. <laughs> I'll be the first one out of the dugout. We'll just fight all the on deck people. It'll be great. All the on deck I'll hit people. the dingers, you strike them out, and then we fight everybody. It's be, it, Sounds like baseball. You want to put butts in the seats? Sounds like 90s baseball. Yeah. You want to watch mm. that or you want to watch a couple of ground ball double plays? You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's <Yeah>. be real. <clears throat> what would your strikeout dance be besides just the three? Oh, as a sharpshooter three? Yeah. Uh, I'd probably drag the water like I'm outside the boat and flip it up in the air, you know? Yeah. Probably one of those. That was smart. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Uh, <clears throat> before we go on, I do need to read some ads because we got to pay for these episodes. So I'm going to read an ad, and then I actually talked to my sponsors, and uh, they said that they would like you to read a couple too. So Do they pay me? Absolutely. Yeah, they're going to pay you 100%. <laughs> Of all them. So I'll start it off. 100%. They're really the easy. They're really easy. I'll start it off for you. Uh, today's episode of Coach Kim Murphy Podcast is brought to you by my mustache, the mark of a true power hitter. Get yours today by growing up and becoming awesome. See? Yeah, that was nice. That was easy. Yeah. So this I, this is one that one of my sponsors sent, and this is just coincidence. I'll do it just for you, though. Yeah. Today's episode of Coach Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you by ArmFast, a revolutionary new training machine to help pitchers with slow fastballs. If you're like me, you wish you could throw fast, but just don't have the natural talent. Worry no more. Just grab the all-new ArmFast machine, and you'll be throwing low 80s in no time. It worked for me. That was good. good. That was good. Right. <clears throat> I'm natural. Gonna yeah, that was, and that one, I mean, that's right out in your wheelhouse, because that would, would work for you. And you, that, they didn't write get that. you out on submarine knuckleballs, Kent. I don't but okay, think you coach, could. let's go. I don't think you could. I don't even think you could What's throw next? a knuckleball. All right, I got to read one. 
Loose knuckleball. <clears throat> Today's episode of the Coach Kent Murphy podcast is brought to you by Long Fences. If you're like me, you can crush dingers that just go too far. Long Fence instantly extends every fence another 300 feet. I still crush them over the fence, but at least I don't have to feel like a chump anymore just hitting them over 450 foot fences. Long Fence. The rest of you will probably still strike out. And, oh, be- and then again, this is just coincidence that this is the one that my advertisers chose yeah. for you. So. No, business. I get business. Of course. Yeah, yeah. It's part of business. Today's episode is also brought to you by Long Sleeve Shirts. Do you have a bunch of tattoos that you don't want anyone to see? Just grab a long sleeve shirt and cover them up in no time. Sold anywhere you shop, and each long sleeve shirt you buy comes with a free hair tie. I'm going to get mine now. Damn, is that called Sunshines? Yeah. Fuck. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's another useful product for you and not me, but, you know. <laughs> People like you. Uh, back to this knuckleball. Yeah. How fast do you think you could throw a knuckleball? Because I throw mine about 110. Uh, I would almost go on record to say I think I can throw a ball with my knuckles harder than you can with your two fingers. I'll bet you we can't. Can, we put it. I mean, we go do we it got right track, now. Man. Yeah, we go do it right now. I'm try drill that shit right now. And uh, if you don't want me to film it, I won't. I want it. Because I don't think you want the people seeing the real champ. I don't think you know me. Yeah. We'll go do this. Or we could just we'll walk around Old Town this. and just whip fastballs at yeah people, people? and be like, hey, yeah. be like, oh my god, it's Mike Clevenger, and just th- you know, instead of signing autographs, we'll just I have throw an idea for you. Fastballs at him that no one's done. An idea for you. Let's do it. I mean, it's risky, but Kit Murphy talks about hitting dingers. Talks about people, you know, not being men. I get it. You should. That's you. You should wear one fastball by a big league pitcher in an off season. Just wear one. See what it's like. Okay, I'll do it right now. Ninety-five plus though. Yeah. Not now, man. Well, I mean, I mean you better get. You see my shoes? I'm like. Are you gonna throw it? I would love to be that guy. Yeah, you better go start taking your boxing <sighs> classes. I'm gonna make now. sure I hit you in the right spot. Because I'm still coming I'm out. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm gonna hit you in the leg. I'm, I'm saying still... you should just. I want that would be. I'll do. I'll do it anytime you, you want. People. All right. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Let's see. You <laughs> I mean, talk about a lot. Yeah. You know, if I wanted I to kiss, I'd call your mother. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't need to take. <gasps> Oh, if your Have sister you ever text me back? I'm, uh, yeah. I'm going to yeah, You better house. tell your sister she needs to come get her rollerblades out of my car because I'm tired of holding on to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, they've yeah. been in your mom's car this whole time. Why don't well, you yeah. give you the keys back? So you can she get them back. to get over to my house. It's not my fault. <laughs> She's like, come pick me up. And I was like, not a chance. Be here in five. Or I'm locking the door. You know what I mean? <sighs> oh. I mean, yeah. you brought it up, man. You, I know. I'm you sorry. You brought it up. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I gotta. have you ever thought about throwing 100? I actually, I did in Juco. Juco to show, baby. I need baby. receipts. Where's the yeah, deal? I'll actually admit, that was, those are stalker, yeah. soccer pro. So I think you should stuff. just throw 100 all the time. I think you should get rid of your slider, get rid of the change up. That's what I'm trying to do, Kent. And just, just That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to throw 100 every, yeah. every time, but it's not nobody, there nobody going to touch it. If you throw 100 every time, <sighs> keep it inside, so that way they're a little bit scared. Keep I got your back, man. I'll be your agent if you want. Really? Yeah, I'll be your agent, and we'll just we'll just go to camps all day where we you know we learn how to throw a hundred. I'll yeah. I'll be running the camps, obviously, because I don't uh, need to hire anybody for that. Duh. I mean, why would I waste my money when I can just show you? But we just throw a hundred all day. We do the dances, and then uh, you know, figure it out. Yeah, we just crush it in the city after that all night, throwing fast I mean, throwing fastballs at fans. Fast one on balls. Them. Yeah. I I just I just think that's a good idea for you. So what are uh, what kind of hobbies do you do when you're not playing baseball? I mean, I like to I like to fish. I like to fish a lot. Anytime Everybody I get a chance. Everybody likes to fish. Oh, I can't do. I mean, I I grew up skateboarding and surfing, so I can't really do those. That was going to be my first and first and uh, 99th guess, and everyone yeah. in between. Yours was uh, hey, Mets you sales like and <laughs> softball bat promotion. Yeah, of course. <laughs> slow slow pitch, uh, traveling slow pitch salesman. Yeah. And I would just go to the fields and and beat everybody up. Just trying yeah. to get people to start dipping. Yeah. Just for, that's how you force them like into the sale. Like it's the 90s sale. when tobacco They're like, I don't want to buy softball gear. And you, know, you just use the bat against them. And yeah. sure enough, they're getting their checkbooks out. <laughs> get you some all-black baseball plants with some huge white stripes yeah. on the side. What's, uh, what's, your, what's your least favorite city to play in? I mean, being in the big leagues, there's no bad city. That's true. That's true. I, I was going to say I like to play – Everywhere. I like to play I anywhere like to dom- that's not the minor leagues. You're probably like me. You just like going anywhere and dominating. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to Detroit. Like, I, I guess I'll any, dominate I hate Detroit anywhere I lose. Today. Yeah, I love exactly. anywhere I win. Yeah, well, I don't lose, so I don't know what that feels like, but oh, if you want to tell me about it, I won't wait, listen. Just wait. Yeah, I won't just ever wait. listen. I'm not going to. 
I can't wait to get hit by a pitch by you. I can't wait it's to see you try to suck it up. He thinks it's going to be like. No, I won't even. I'm not going to uh, rub it. I'm not going to rub it. I'm just going to. My next offseason is going to be throwing 103. It's Good. Gonna, it's going to go through your leg. If you want to cause any pain to me, you better get up to 120. <laughs> so my, you better so quit so skipping my granddad used to throw at me when I was six. And that's how he taught me how to grow. Those up are called fast. cigarette butts into your arm. Those aren't well, those aren't baseballs. I got some of those too. But he's a good man. <laughs> well, he's just out there playing. Do you think? Do you think if I hit? Do you think if I hit you with one, and you charge the mound on me, how quick do you think I would beat you up? Whew. Well, if I'm willing to serve twenty five to life, that'd only be over my daughter. So that's why I wouldn't charge the mound. It would be. No one. There would be no more Coach Kent. Well, I get you. I got a. I got a bail no bond. I get Kent. Chucky out every week. And we'll you, get do you, you out of jail. How mad your sister would be at me if I took you down, let alone your mom. Well, I'm just telling you, she God. wouldn't be that. Last mad. Last time I came over for dinner, they were already kind of upset. I didn't see him in a while, and now. I mean, but you, my no, my sister's already moved on. Hey, they get a little red ass. We talk all this shit, so they might. They might want me. <laughs> Some to do of that. them do. Some of you'd be surprised, man. I've been walking around this city all all week and ain't. Ain't, no, ain't one of them I thought about, like, oh, I'm going to stop for that. No, I just kept going. Did you tell them how me and you uh, walked around the old town? Oh, uh, uh, we did some damage in old town. We did were, some uh, damage, and he was a celebrity. Uh, well, I, was a, I was a photographer you were, for Yeah, Kent you Murphy. were pretty much my photographer all mm-hmm. night, which I'll tell you what, man, you looked way more comfortable in that role than you do in, you know, in a pitching rotation. <laughs> I was like, man, you could be a pretty good photographer. You look healthy as a you, photographer. You, you know what? That knee looks it. good. Yeah. Yeah. So he, yeah, so basically, like, we was just out, and he was just walking around taking pictures of me all night. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are like, who's that Who's that guy taking pictures? He kept trying to tell him I was, I was his like, boyfriend, trying to get some clout. but Well, I didn't say that. That was uh, that was something you said, and I was like, you better knock it off now. Yeah, he's covering it up. Well, I'm not covering anything up. Well, you're cacti. Yeah, there's plenty of them out here. <laughs> Stick your finger on that one. It feels good. Uh, I, I, I bet if I here. stuck my finger on that, that would hurt worse than anything you could throw at me. I'm willing to see. But here's the thing. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to throw on me, but I'm just going to turn on it. And I can't. Like, I have an <laughs> inherent instinct to just hit dingers. Oh. When's the last time you saw a pitch come at you? Or come to the plate, not at you. Just come in. Cut like a real pitch? A real pitch. Even adult league, whatever. <laughs> today? Really? No, not really. Uh, they didn't let you stand No, it was, we got rained out today. Damn. Yeah. But be. most days of my life, I see some real pitches. I mean, you stand Chucky in. don't throw real hard, but I see him. No, I'm talking about like a pitcher pitcher, like someone throwing to competitively to you. Whether it's I mean, I hit the batting cages not too long ago. Do you just go stand in for a pin while you're out here? Just to stand in. TV will let to. you. I'll let you. Just 100%. Go, dead serious. Go throw some pitches? No, you just stand in so you can see. Oh, okay. Because, well, I mean, last time you saw pitches was probably a while ago. So you see some big league pitches. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, yeah, I play, when I was in high school, I played against Clayton Richard. Oh, and he shit. threw harder than you then, then than you do Dude, now. That guy's got some good funk, by the way. I appreciate yeah, his stuff. Yeah, he's a good stuff. guy. I appreciate his stuff. Yeah, he can throw hard. You should think about trying that out. I would. I just want to throw lefty. That's what he's got. He's got that you lefty. You want to throw You should try that out. I bet you'd be good at it. Billy Wagner did it. Yeah. He switched it up. He switched. He got. He blew out his right elbow. He's only in, I think you, uh, don't super quote me. You should ask him. I think he was 90, 92 from the right side, blew his shit out, and then he wasn't supposed to throw again from the right, and started just the whole time he was going through surgery, straight in his left, and then he became a 100 mile an hour lefty closer. That's like, and you had Tommy John before too, right? Mm hmm. Look at that pretty And so scar. you had like, that's because you used to throw like 60 before that, and then it was like rookie of the year. That's back where, when the guns were saying 100, just though. Like, then all of a sudden you could throw hard when you I came was out playing, of I was playing third base in closings. That's probably another reason. You played third base in the minor leagues? No, they wouldn't let me. Uh, you should try I it out lobbied. now. lobbied. Do you think you'd be good at it now? Fuck no. No? Uh, I don't know if you see. Uh, standing in the bo- uh, the last time I was in the box was last game of the season against Nationals. Uh, Tyson Ross was throwing fastballs that I thought were going to hit in the grass before the plate, and I guess they were down the middle. So, uh, yeah, no chance. <laughs> That's pretty good. What was your Besides pitching, what was your favorite position to play? Shortstop. Shortstop? Shortstop. Why? Uh, I, everything about – my favorite part about baseball is good hands. That's yeah. my favorite part. I mean, outside of pitching – Watching someone with good hands, yeah. don't give a shit about your hitting. I'm, that's fun, dingers, like yeah. you, whatever, man. Watching someone that can really sit there, like Omar Vizquel, yeah. Francisco Lindor. Ooh, Vizquel was the man back that's, in the day. That's that's baseball. Yeah, that's Baez that's can me. turn him like that now. Baez, Jacksonville, with, Florida. I mean, he's Puerto Rican native. Well, yeah. He went to high school. I always like playing outfield because I could just like because every fly ball is a chance to just dive at it and look like you a. You would love Javier. Javier Baez used to have a rat tail. 
Oh yeah. In high school. He used to be a I second. love rat tails, man. I know you do. Yeah. That's why I said that. I used to have one just like behind my ear. I didn't even do it in the back because I was a, like starting a new he trend. He a sick braid and he used to play second base and switch hit yeah. in high school. I'm way into that. Did you play high school against him? Yeah. That's why everyone's like saw him hitting left handed and were freaking out. I was like, dude, in high school he started out as a switch hitting second baseman that swiped bags. He was Get out like, of here. I swear. Did he no ever power. hit a dinger off you? Nope. Did you ever strike him out? Yes. Hell yeah. He was a no- dude, he was a nine hole hitter. He was a soft well, he was a sophomore as a senior though. And he went from I remember. So you were the that. big guy on campus, and he was just like, "I think I can hit this guy." And you're like, "Doubt it." I mean, they're, they're, and you just he was at a, he was at a 1A heat. private school, so it wasn't. Yeah, I was at a 5A public school. So you were the, where yeah, shit went down, put, you know? yeah, with the big boy, yeah. But no, yeah. Again, uh, you were watching your walking. six, like you were. Yeah, so you were used hey, to it by serious. the time you yeah. got out Wolfson there. Wolfson High School, shout yeah. it out. What was? It? How fast did you throw when you were in high school? See, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I was anywhere from I'll literally be 87 to 95. And you got you actually got mm. wins throwing that hard. Uh, yeah, I did. That's cool. That's Couple. cool. I guess mm. I, I wouldn't have guessed it. I hit four forty in high school. You hit four forty. I hit I hit five ninety. Mm. No, I didn't. I hit a thousand. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I sorry, lied I'm to sorry. you. I hit a thousand. I hit a thousand. Still. Was that the bingo hall or you're talking about baseball? Yeah. It was, oh, okay. Well, both. Right. I did, I do like to go down to the bingo hall. You get some of those old biddies down there. I knew you did. And I just go in there and I just start yelling bingo. You st- Stole someone's you, grandpa's you know can, Maui hat. They left a grandma. Oh, yeah. He took Mamaw's But you Maui can go hat. in there and just start yelling bingo. If you want to really piss people off, just go in a bingo hall and just yell bingo. Like every five minutes. And you see a bunch of people be like, God damn it. He f-. And you'd be like, no, nah, I don't got one. High Warhawks, one of the best travel, travel teams that ever came about. That goes around in the summer. That I played in the, we had to clean bingo halls as our like job for playing with them because Ron Slusher, one of the best men I ever met in the game. Owned a bunch of bingo halls. What so, was yeah, your been job? What did you do when you cleaned? You didn't do like the bathrooms, did you? No. No. no, no you were no, just like no. walking around pretending to wipe no, the tables off. No, he took care of me. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Put the trash Because you don't want to waste your good, you know, dinger energy and your good strikeout energy. No, no, energy. left hand swipe and then get out of there, you yeah. know? You're like, oh, this one's clean. They slide some numbers. From the, I mean, that's, I'm kind of the old women doing You're a lot smarter than I thought you were. Yeah. You know how to get around <laughs> the good stuff, man. That's good. That's, a, that's well. That's a backhanded compliment, mm-hmm. is what that is. Because I don't really want to like. I don't want to tell you you're Sounds too good. Like you, Kent. Like you're a living backhanded compliment. I am. Well, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard being the king. Heavy lies the crown. You know what I mean? People are coming at me daily, way more than they're coming at you because they ain't scared of your fastball. <laughs> so, you, you tell know. them how I got your nerve the other night too. Yep. I roasted Kent. Mur- I got to roast Kent Murphy in What'd one. What'd you say? I won. I don't think you won. Hell no, we're not putting that on here. <laughs> I don't think you won. I don't think you won, though. Uh, because you don't say anybody wins, Kent. That's part of that's the, that's the thing I like about you. You never even concede to defeat. Well, have you ever thought about that? Just but, living your life that way? You never lose? Yeah, but I thrive off of the loss to make me even better the next time. Yeah. That's, I that's don't part know of what growth. That means. Yeah. I think you should go to the National League. I'd like and that. And just hit full time. He Dude, said no. I, I swear the whole time, seriously, I, I envisioned that that game, the National League games, were going to be the best times of my life. Because my debut was Cincinnati Reds. Yeah. I had to hit my debut. Well, yeah. Fucking nightmare. That's Fucking oh, nightmare. Shocker. You had to play the whole game. Weird. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you get taken out earlier in National League games. Yeah. Actually, your ERA benefits double. They double dip in the National League. You get a pitcher every nine hole. Yeah. And you can't really throw that many innings because you get situational and you're playing in division. If you're dealing, you might need your like that D that guy to come in off the bench to hit for you, instead of you pushing to the eighth inning with a DH behind you. Okay, so that's why a lot of guys come so out. So you don't six. like National League pitchers? That's what you're saying. You heard it here. No, folks. I do. I just think oh. I, I think they get benefits. I was putting words in I your think mouth. They get benefits. Yeah. I was just trying to get a. Good he likes to put a lot of things in people's mouth, but I mean, come on, man. Yeah, cheese dogs no. mostly. Mine, <laughs> my cheese dogs. <laughs> no, but the, I like I literally like. It's like okay, maybe my debut was just shit because I was so nervous. I was puking for 30 minutes for my debut. And then I had to hit on top of it off Finnegan, who was a lefty pumping 95, 96. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, maybe next time. Each time it's just shittier and shittier because, like, you're so locked into the game, so locked <laughs> into pitching. And all of a sudden I'm sprinting the first base, and I, I'm either zero or 100. I don't have that. Yeah. I don't have second I'm gear, the same way. Yeah, yeah. You know? Then I'm sprinting the first base, and, dude, I beat out a <laughs> – Legged out a double play in San Francisco one time. Everyone was pissed on both teams. My team and the I other team. I love it. Yeah. T- tie black. Well, your coaches are pissed because you're yeah. running that hard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah he, it, the best part was it wasn't like – I mean, I didn't crush it. I hit a one-hopper, the shortstop routine double play, one out. Crawford flipped it up. 
I'd probably hit like a four four point one to first, bro. It's the fastest like you ever ran. Step, nah, dude. I got legs. I, I even admit I can't hit. I can run. I can I was jump. Giving I giving you a throw. compliment, man. You kind of another compliment. backhanded. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's a living. Anyways, yeah. Now you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you got me. All right, cool. Again, Did and you... uh, leg it out, and then next thing I know, like the Washington National starts at the end of the season. I'm trying to hit, run to first base, ground out, get back dug out. By the time you're trying to catch your breath, a guy high energy like me. I'm going to the mound feeling like I just went through a goddamn marathon and not even like trying to piece together just like my thought and adrenaline and even I can't help but get pissed off I got out. Yeah. Even though I'm not a hitter, you're not supposed to care, whatever, whatever, yeah, American League. Yeah, you got to try. You can't it's just go up there and give it away. Yeah, well, my heart yeah. rate going to slow down because I'm not supposed to care because they tell me not to care. No, I'm going to care. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Unless I get good at hitting, National League's going to suck. Do you think you'll ever hit a home run in the majors? Bartolo gives us all hope, man. I know, right? Mm, can't ever yeah. say Do no. Do you ever hit him when you're taking batting practice? Oh, Smoking. I'm a five o'clock hitter, bro. All right, man. You right. leave it straight and I 70. can at least give you credit for that. Oh, dude, as I'll long put as you put them out in bad. I'll put a show just, on. Just I, don't I spin do them or throw it hard. Well, yeah. Yeah. If exactly. they're, I mean, if they're throwing curveballs, it's because they're scared of you anyway. Mm. It's because they don't think they can get the fastball. Or if they try to throw it you. too hard, you know? Yeah. Why are you trying to throw so That's hard? That's lame, man. Yeah. That's lame. The oh, first yeah. time, do you remember the first time you hit a major league batter with a pitch? Were you scared? Like, like actually? Did you like like you hit pitch? No, like no, you were pitching. Like the first time you hit a major league hitter, like you, you put you one like, on a guy, like oh yeah, uh, where you're like shit, he's gonna thinking? he's gonna come out here. Fuck no, Hell no, no one's ever. I've never. Well, I've never hit someone where it came to that even aggression, and I don't remember anyone even. I don't no. know. I ain't All scared right. nobody, Kent. I didn't say you were. I'm telling you. I didn't say All you right. said that. I'm telling you. Fine. But, fine. Fine, man. How many strikeouts you think I'm you're gonna, gonna hit you and see if you're gonna come out to the mound? You're not gonna. I mean, I'll be out there. Oh, I'll you, wait for you. you. I will put those I will chicken wait legs for back in your bike shorts, coach. No, these chicken legs are you. economical. Okay. They keep me moving faster so I can, <laughs> you know, plow through disgrace and families quicker. You know what I mean? I know your mom told me all I need it. a Before we get out of here, mm-hmm. I need a prediction. How many strikeouts you gonna you going to pitch this year? I, I, if I'm being – I want to know your prediction I think first. you can do 650. 650, yeah. That's about mm-hmm. Bob Feller, a little over Bob Feller. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna go 652 with 300 walks. Okay. Bob Feller 314. You have 300 walks too. All I know is Bob Feller won the Cy Young one year with 300 walks. Well, that's but true. But he had 500 and something strikeouts. That's true. Mm-hmm. And I think you should also. I think you should set your goal for 80 hit batters and 20 hockey punches. Yeah, like one every other game, you got to hit somebody just to keep let them know. Keep it loose. I'm still well, I'm still in charge up here. I think the on deck batter should wear one every once in a while. I agree. Make fucking freak I agree. out every once yeah. in a while. Give the umpire mm-hmm. a couple. Bat boy. Yeah. Bad boys don't get, ever get to wear that no. shit. They oh. should wear one every Put once one in on a while. Him. Yeah. They sit there and smile at Wait till he's running. Yeah, he's coming stands, out to get the, get the bat. Balls. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm way into one. it. Now you're in. I'm into it. Mike, thanks for coming on the podcast. We got to get out of here. We'll see you guys next time on the Coach Kit Murphy podcast. Thank you, Coach.